Welcome to another episode of The Epic, Epic Family Road Trip. Good morning guys we had a wonderful sleep here on the farm this is um another brother-in-law uh, nate and sarah they and their family run a huge grass seed farm so they grow grass and then harvest the seed off so a lot of the seed used in north america to seed lawns and so on are grown here in this part of oregon and on this farm so um but last night we were down by the pond had a beautiful dinner with family you know while we're out here it's always so nice to just be able to get together with family and, and spend time together because you you because time together is so precious and we also have our brother-in-law Wayne who was diagnosed four years ago with uh, very very serious brain cancer and uh, he has been fighting it for four years and they didn't give him much time definitely didn't give him four years I think it was uh, a year or something uh, but he's been such an amazing warrior fighting that and has such a good uh, attitude about the whole thing and such a good spirit. So it was so nice to spend time with Wayne. Um, and we were at his house yesterday for many hours and just a wonderful guy and his family that we're, we're so close with them and, and just en enjoyed such a great time with them. And it really hit home for us how important it is to use your time together because you never know what the plans are. You never know when you'll lose someone who's precious to you. Also with everything going on in the world and the the difficulty of crossing borders and traveling and seems to be getting more and more restrictive, you never know when you could get together. So any of you meeting with family, um, hug them and spend time with them and just enjoy each precious moment. So talking about family, the boys are back in Bozeman and we're here in Oregon and we have a 14 and a half hour drive not including stops. So we're probably thinking two days, two seven hour days or two eight hour days of hard driving and we'll be back in Bozeman. We can't wait to see the, the guys and hear all their stories. So jump in with us and let's go. so far we are now in Spokane Washington just outside of the city here we'll be crossing into Idaho so we've made some pretty good headway but we're still about five and a half hours from uh, where the boys are so we're gonna have to make a decision soon whether we stop for the night stop find a place you know make some dinner set up camp or whether we uh, just press on if we carry on for another five and a half hours, it's gonna be, um, you know, midnight or one o'clock by the time we get there. So we'll let you know what we decide. But yeah, it's been a long, one of those long travel days we do every once in a while when we're crossing a lot of territory. We're about halfway back to seeing the boys. We're really looking forward to that. And we're gonna take you with us. With the sun beginning to set and after a long day on the road, we decided to stop for the night and to stretch our legs, especially Lando. <laughs> Alright guys, we've arrived in camp. We're all set up here, nice quiet place. Not too far off the highway. And so tomorrow morning we'll be able to get back on the highway and carry on and uh, we'll be seeing the boys sometime tomorrow afternoon. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, so you guys have a good night and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good. 
It was so good to be back together as a complete family again, and we just couldn't wait to pack up our gear and get back on the trail together. Oh my goodness, there's a bear. Straight ahead. Yep. Black bear. There was, uh, we were coming up the trail just to get on the hill there, and right in front of us was a huge black bear. We pulled over just to wait for the jeeps for a second, and then a black bear walked out of the woods just ahead of us. Just started walking right towards us, so we started up the bikes again and started turning ourselves around. And then it, it looked at us, took a couple more steps, and then jumped into the bush right beside us. With the boys scouting ahead on their bikes, we eventually found a beautiful spot with a gorgeous view and some shelter from the wind, so we pulled in and began setting up camp for the night. On tonight's menu was some delicious chicken tacos and we used some of the fresh vegetables we had gathered at Carol's sister's farm in Oregon.
past a fresh water source and we're low on water, we always stop to get our lifesaver out and filter some water. It's uh, in the mountains, most of the sources are pretty clean, but you always, always want to filter your water. Never drink directly from a source unless you're absolutely, uh, well, just don't do it. We'll see you down the road.